<laughs> Dude, I feel like this is like one of these fail videos. It's not even at all. <laughs> oh my gosh! Why am I doing this? Hey guys, it's Jillian. So today I'm going to be trying something that I have done before and I failed at. Today I'm going to be cutting my hair. I did this before, it did not turn out good. <gasps> what happened? But today I won't be using some like craft scissors. We actually have like hair cutting stuff. We also have a Brad Monder tutorial I'm going to be following and hopefully I don't mess this up. I am going to be cutting Curtain bangs. Curtain bangs are on the rise. Ooh, they're really cute when they're done well. I mean, they're quite chic. It's not really banged, but it's like longer. So as you can see, my hair is all like pretty much one length. Last time I tried to cut my hair, I totally made it all choppy and disgusting and we're not doing that again. I'm very scared, you guys. Uh, it's called Hairdresser's Guide to Cutting Your Own Curtain Bangs. These beautiful babies right here, this is what you're gonna see today. Ooh. He shows a little fail, and um, hopefully mine do not turn out like that. I have the one like in the video where it's like closer and then wider teeth on the comb. And I also have this, when you like part it, I guess. I have a spray bottle to wet down my hair. Last time I cut my hair, it was completely dry. So I'm gonna just dampen up this front section. Okay, just wet it all down. <laughs> I'm not even doing anything. Okay, okay, okay. What? Is this even going? Uh... Yeah, Dad is gonna wet my hair. Yes. <laughs> Dad! He sprayed me in the face. Ugh. We are gonna comb our hair in front of our face just like this. The next step is to do a middle part. I look like the girl from the rain. Okay, we're doing a middle part. Eh. Oh, it's so wet. We're gonna take the bangs back about two or three inches. I'm going to take these down to about the end of her eyebrow. Now I'm sectioning it off. So it's like a little triangle. I'm gonna clip the rest back there. The other side now. It's important that you match the two sides together. So now there's like two triangles and they make one big triangle like that. There we go. Okay, so comb it out. Perfect. Put your ring finger and thumb like this. That doesn't feel right, but I will listen. Plus these are right-handed scissors and I'm left-handed. I'm probably gonna cut it longer at first and then shorter, so like maybe that one. I'm gonna start with it kind of longer and then if I wanna cut more, I'll cut more. <gasps> it's cutting, it's cutting. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm so scared. Dude, I feel like this is like one of these fail videos. It's not even at all. I already know it's not even. I just did that. So this is what it looks like now. If you parted it, since I cut it straight across, it's just gonna be straight across like that. See, that doesn't look good. I just looked down at how much hair is on my lap right now. <laughs> oh my gosh, why am I doing this? Okay, so now I'm trying to like make sure everything's even, like the ends. We are gonna add a little bevel. You see how it's so straight? It's like, girl, you got a ledge. I hate ledges. We don't want a ledge. Over direct, so you go, you go like this. And like that. So you cut it like parallel to the part. You just snip these parts off. Uh, I can't see. Wait, I could just do this. So now, when we go like this, it's like that. So now, it's not straight across. Okay, so I think it's still too long, even though I cut off 
all of this. This is like how all the fills go wrong. Cause they're always like, oh, I'll cut a little more. I'll cut a little more. I'll cut a little more. Okay, okay, that's enough, that's enough, that's enough. That's enough, I don't want any more. So now my hair is very uneven, so we need to cut it so it'll be all evened out. Okay, I think we got things pretty even. <laughs> are coming out. Okay. So this is how, how long my hair was, and now it's up to here. Now, uh, just blow dry the rest of your hair. Now I'm trying to get it out of my eyes so I can see when I blow dry the rest of my hair. Maybe I should just braid it. Okay, I know I look very stupid like this, but I want it out of my face so I can Blow dry the rest of my hair. <laughs> then you go like this and you and you brush it like this. And then you also at the same time you blow dry it so it gets that sort of round shape. Uh, I'm not good at this. It's looking very heavy and very disconnected. So now we need to thin it out a little bit. So we said go up like this. So we're gonna take it and just cut into it. I like to blend my hair in with the rest. So I'm just gonna take it like that and just follow the end of the fringe down to the bottom of her hair. Just Now what's gonna really escalate this look and finish it all off is some styling. Let me put some waves in her hair and I'll show you guys the finished look. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I curled it and I think it looks pretty good. Um, they're like about this length, so when they're straight they're a bit longer. And when I pull it in a ponytail it comes out, but I kind of like that look like this. When I was first trying to style it, it kept like curving inward so it was hard to get it to go right but with the curls it kind of just like swooped back naturally i think this was a success if you guys want to try it yourself make sure you have parental supervision and make sure you have all the right stuff and if it doesn't turn out good definitely don't blame me and don't blame brad mondo either it takes practice cutting your hair obviously and also it's a little bit harder to do on yourself but I would just say, if it doesn't turn out good, it's fine. Hair grows. So, yeah, this is how it looks. Um, probably gonna see this hairstyle a lot in future videos. And, yeah, see you guys next time. Bye!